As an adult, which of these common British water birds typically has a red and yellow beak? Coot, mute swan, moorhen, or Canada goose? I'm tending towards moorhen, but I don't know. I wish my grandfather was still alive. He would have got this in a heartbeat. He knew everything there was to know about birds. Uh, I don't think it's a coot. Uh, and I don't think it's a Canada goose. A mute swan. Don't they have a red bit up the top? And then the yellow beak. Uh, isn't the moorhen green? Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards mute swan. But I don't know. Uh, I think that's something you might know. You're a countryman. You're out there in the Cotswolds. Lots of lakes and water. I think you'd know this, and I'm not sure. And I don't want to plunge back to £1,000, so I'm going to use my lifeline with you, Jeremy, and ask you for the answer. OK, here's what I think. Right, Coot's got the white bit. A mute swan has the sort of bulbous bit on the top of its beak yeah. as opposed to a whoop swan, which is smooth. Right. Or a beric swan, which is also smooth. Canada goose, um... Is the only one that's slightly troubling me. I, I, I mean, 99% certain it's a moorhen. A moorhen? But the 1% problem I have is the Canada goose, because while I can picture it, it's got the black and white flashes here and then it's sort of brown and speckly bits. Black neck, white bit on it round its face. Described it perfectly, except for its beak. Hmm. Why do you think it's a moorhen? Well, because I've seen more. Because you can... Yeah, exactly. They're quite dusky, aren't they? They're quite... Well, they're sort of... They're black, basically. I mean, yeah. somebody might twitch or probably go, oh, I think you'll find they're a sort of dark blue or green. But they're black, yeah, they're really. Dark. They're dark. And they've got the colour of a moorhen is predominantly in its beak, I'm fairly sure of it, which would be red and yellow. But I can't give you a 100% answer on that, I'm afraid. I know it isn't mute swan, I know it isn't coot. No. But that's uh, as far as I can go, and that, I'm afraid, Richard, is my final answer. Well, I think that's as good as I'm going to get. Um, because I'm um, thinking of my, my phone, my choice of phone of friends, and I don't think either of them would know. Uh, you're 99% certain. I'll take that down to 90%. I think those are good odds. You know, that's, that's, that's a sound answer. But if you get it wrong, £15,000 is up the swanny. Well, it's, it's pointless calling, calling either of my, my two phone of friends at standby because they won't it's know. True, but you do have 50 50, which would knock it down to something that you know it isn't. <sighs> All right, let's go 50-50. OK. Computer, can we take away two randomly selected wrong answers? Oh, we're good. OK, thanks very much, Jeremy. I know you're right. It's uh, C, Moorhen, final answer. Of course, I'm sitting here now thinking, I don't know it's right, and I have to ask the computer to reveal the correct answer. Could you do that now, please? Yeah. Because it's not the coup. It's my victory roll. Well. Uh, spend an hour a day bird watching. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't stick. Doesn't matter. We're Good. there. You're through. You're at your second safety net of thirty-two thousand pounds, and you still have your big lifeline remaining. Your your phone a friend, and actually you've got a free punt now at sixty-four thousand hmm. because you've no money to lose. You cannot go home with less than thirty-two. Thousand oh, pounds. So, that's over fifteen grand a charity. That's fantastic. It's really good. Don't yeah, no, it's well, yeah. it's it's sixteen to be sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just rounding it off. <laughs> <laughs> or you fancy trousering a couple of. <laughs> uh, okay, here's my final question. Would you like to see more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire videos? Then click subscribe, and you're guaranteed to win. Granted, it's not a million pounds, but it could be worse.